What is up everybody, Scape211 here, and today I want to do kind of a tips and tricks to talk about how to get heroes and how to level them up quick. There's not really any simple or fast way to do this, um, but you know, your idea is to try and get these heroes maxed out so that you're prepared for when new heroes come in, and then you're just all set on all that stuff. But I want to talk about the two different avenues and give you guys a game plan to do this effectively, most efficiently as possible. So let's talk about that. The first way of getting these heroes is the Hall of Fame. And in here, if I scroll back really far, <laughs> you'll see that I start to have, or I have some of these heroes in here. These are ones that you will unlock in the Hall of Fame and they are tagged with a blue border like I have Shell here. You just get these heroes through playing the game. Nothing special about it. Just play your dailies, do different kind of stuff, and you should be able to get these heroes organically. Now, generally speaking, free for all has been the mode people go to to get the points for the Hall of Fame and get the most of them if you can. It's not by a whole lot more, but if you're getting first place consistently, you usually get a little bit more points than you would if you're just doing other stuff through your dailies. Not by a whole lot, so it's not a big deal. And I also think various things about the system may change. And also, if you get like a challenge bonus or like if you get an MVP, as I think they're probably going to introduce that, this may change. So you don't have to do it with this way, but it's generally considered right now the best way to do it. The second way to get heroes is a little more complicated. It's in rumble boxes based on a luck or gotcha system. If you go into your Hall of Fame or the store and look at the rumble box info button up at the top, you can get an idea of what comes in each rumble box. First of all, T coins and power cores based on the power cores of the heroes that you already have unlocked randomly, you will get power cores for them. You may also get point doublers and of course you can also unlock new heroes. Like it shows here, I have the listing for the drop rates on the rare, grand, epic, and mythic heroes. All of mine say 0% because I've actually unlocked all of these. And what's cool about this system is once you unlock all of the category, let's say you lock unlock all of the rares, that will go down to 0% and the percentage chance for the grands, epics, and mythics will actually go up. So it has a bit of a snowball effect here, which is really nice. So does that mean you want to unlock all your rumble boxes? Well, not exactly. Actually, with each season, it makes a lot of sense to save some of your Rumble boxes because there's going to be a mid-season hero that comes out. And when that comes out, you want to try to get that one as well. And usually those are either mythic or epics. So uh, it makes a lot of sense to usually just save a bunch of those. However, when you are new to the game, I think it makes sense to try and use some of those Rumble boxes to clear out your rares and your grands. I haven't seen any of the new mid-season heroes that are rare or grands. So if you can get those out of the way and give you a higher chance of getting that mid-season hero with the rest of your epics and mythics it makes a lot of sense so i would say try to open those if you can in whatever season you are if you don't have them unlocked totally and then focus on other stuff there are a lot of advantage to that also because there's i mean if you look at the actual rares and uh, grands that we have, there's a lot of great ones like Hunter and Jabali are two really commonly used ones. Those are like top tier guys. So it definitely makes sense to have solid arsenals for all of your heroes um, while you're trying to get all those mid-season heroes as well. So that covers getting the heroes, but now we wanna focus on maxing them out because that's the next step, right? You wanna get them all the way up to level nine, get their passive, max them out, and be able to use them effectively in combat. And there is a strategy to being able to max out heroes and do it efficiently, better, all that kind of stuff. So I wanna talk about that. Now this chart that I'm bringing up is from the T3 Coliseum. I'm not sure exactly who made it, but I found it on their Discord. So I wanted to give them props and I will link below to them so that you can see this chart for yourself if you wanted to see it as well. But this is a very handy chart, very handy, um, you know, just information for us to know how many cores and T coins you need for each level up and you'll see down there once you get to level nine you are you have all the cores you need and you just need to unlock the passive to uh, fully max them out to 10 and once you get them to level nine that means once they're there their passive could show up in normal boxes the chances of it showing up there are really low but that is the possibility and that's how people actually get to fully max these out okay but the key part is all before that when we are trying to get the cores all right once you get the total amount of cores you need which is 1840 for a specific hero that is key no matter what level they are even if they're level one and have all of the cores you need for them it's key why is it key because that means they are no longer going to show up in rumble boxes once you get 1840 cores for glory let's say she's not going to show up in Romo boxes anymore. That means somebody else would show up in her place. And again, you can see the idea here of snowballing where you're just not going to have that core or other stuff to worry about. So it's very helpful to have this kind of stuff known and to focus on trying to max out heroes to be able to do this more and more effectively. 
Now, some of you may be thinking, yeah, that's great, Nullscape, but the Rumble boxes only give me power cores of the heroes I have unlocked. So should I just be opening a whole bunch to get all the power cores I want? Well, yes and no. I mean, opening the power cores or opening the Rumble boxes will help, but if you look at your Hall of Fame, or more so, I'm going to look at my Season Pass here, you will see some of these universal cores that are available, and this is where things change up and where you can really focus on your specific progression. If you notice here, I have a set of 500 and 200. That's 700 cores I could dump into one hero, and that's what I really recommend for a lot of people. Using these power cores to focus on one specific hero will allow you to finish up that hero, cycle them out of rumble boxes, and then being able to focus on your next one. And the idea here is to focus on, of course, your main hero, and then a few heroes that you use regularly to try and maximize this whole process. Then you'll be able to have a few heroes that you feel comfortable with, you're good in the meta with, as well as ones you're trying to maximize for cores. And then once you get all the cores for them, you can focus on the next hero in line that you just happen to have the most random cores that you got for to hopefully max them out. The goal here is to try and get all the cores you can for all your heroes. Because once you get all the cores you need for every single hero, you will then only get T coins in your rumble boxes. And if we go back and look at that chart, you'll see that you need a good chunk of T coins for each of these level ups. So once you get all the cores, then you get all the T coins, you can get everything to level nine, and then all you have left to unlock is your ultimate. And again, what's really cool about all this process and how they do everything, once you get to level nine with a bunch of heroes, your ultimates will actually start showing up in the shop for 4,000 T coins. And you'll also see the alternate ultimate sometimes for 2,000 T coins. Now I know 4,000 and 2,000 T coins is a lot to purchase these things, but once you get to a point where you're only getting T coins and you don't really need it for other purposes, it's actually not too bad and it can help you get through this process faster. The goal again is just to max everything out. You don't necessarily have to spend it here, but it's not bad. The only other thing you have to do then after that is as new heroes come out, unlock them and then once you do unlock them, especially if you only have those heroes left, they will be the only cores that show up in rumble boxes and you will be able to level up new heroes super fast like within you know less than a week it, it and uh, you see a lot of people that get these new heroes and they max them out super fast and you probably wonder how do they do that so fast well it's because they're already at this point in the game where everything else is maxed out so when they open rumble boxes the only thing that shows up in there are these new heroes and their cores and that kind of stuff so it makes the whole process again of leveling up so much easier as you snowball through it so again the idea is you know playing the game regularly to get all your stuff from the hall of fame opening up your rumble boxes, maybe just for your rares and your grands, and then saving them all for when the mid-season hero comes, then focusing on trying to max out the cores for a single hero at a time using your universal power cores, and then just focusing on those new heroes and those passives that you'll be able to get in the end game. So that's usually the trek I would recommend for a lot of people to do, and what I think is the overall design of how you're supposed to progress efficiently in this game. But that's really all I was going to say, guys. I mean, none of this, like I said, is really rocket science, but it's about trying to focus yourself to focus on one hero at a time to get all the cores for and then move on so that you can just, you know, hopefully max out your heroes, all your stuff faster um, by doing all that. So if you guys have any other tips and tricks that you've learned in this process for trying to level up heroes that will help you do it faster, feel free to comment below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.